Sports Center begins with a trade in the NHL. The Winnipeg Jets have acquired Ford Nino Niederreiter from the Nashville Predators. Picking up our newest acquisition, Nino Niederreiter, here tonight. It's a little late on a Sunday night, so um, with Nino tonight, we're going to make sure that he's got his uh, work visa all in order. So after we pick him up here, he and I are going to head over to Customs over at the airport. And uh, I have to drop his bag and his uh, sticks off at the arena uh, before heading home. So it'll be a late night for, uh, for some of us. Nino, oh, yeah. Scott Brown. You're nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, buddy. Good to oh, see you. Great to see you. Nothing uh, bad here. It's always going to be colder. <laughs> well, then you'll be in good, <laughs> good shape. So there's a lot that I like about this trade and this acquisition. Not to mention the fact that it's not a rental. And if you're the Jets themselves, you like the acquisition of this guy coming into your room. Nice. Thank, Thank you very much. Good day, guys. different team is always kind of emotional like I said you don't know what to expect and you have made a lot of friends in Nashville and obviously getting here it's on a whole new team a whole new group so it's uh, not a part which you got to focus on just getting to know each and every individual on a personal level thank you, thank you. put your GM hat on for a minute and if you were Kevin Shevel day off right now what are you targeting going into the uh, deadline? Hey, I don't think they need to do a lot of tinkering, but why not do the tinkering? But do you still feel like you guys should be in a position, given where the West standings are, where you are in the standings, to be buyers by Friday? You know what? I, I find that our group has shown that we have the capability to do it. Yeah, our goal going into training camp and the season is to make the playoffs. Uh, there's enough games left to move up, but we, our goal is to stay in that playoff or in that playoff position. Less than three hours till the final gun when we see what, if anything, the Winnipeg Jets do to help their chances this year and uh, potential player moves that could uh, affect the team going into the offseason and to next year. Hello. Uh, Winnipeg agrees to trade its own fourth round pick in 2025 in exchange for player Vladislav Kamesnikov. Hey, buddy. It's uh, Kevin Schultz, the Athletic Big Jets calling. Well, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, how are you doing? Good. Yeah. Well, that's that's great. Welcome, uh, welcome to the Jets. Looking forward to uh, to getting you here and get you back with bones. We've got some travel stuff in the works here for you, and uh, Chris Kreviazic from uh, our uh, director of team services will probably be giving you a call shortly here. Hey, Vladdy. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Welcome. Good, how are you? Thank you. Good to have you, man. But do you have a lift uh, in Tampa to get to the airport, or do you want um, do you want me to set something up for you? I mean, I can Uber. No, we'll, we'll set something up for you. The flight's not till 6.15, I believe it is. I'll have to double check. Uh, it's his versatility that's the big attraction to him. But just plus, again, great teammate and a great person. This quote all in, like, you know, again, I think it's uh, it's not, you know, about getting the next new shiny toy. Um, it, it's about, you know, the f pieces that you think can fit. And I think, you know, again, the opportunity for these players to show that, you know, this group here that we believed in, um, you know, can take you to the next level with a couple of additions. And that's what we did. 